So this is the second card that we're going to create with this class. And this is done with a technique called paper piecing. And the idea is you're stamping your images on all sorts of different pieces of printed paper, and then you're cutting them out and creating your image. And because all the pieces of paper are completely covered, you don't need to color. The only thing is you need to cut them all out. So if you're someone that doesn't like to, or that doesn't enjoy cutting things out, this may not be for you. However, all the images from here are fairly simple shapes to cut out, which is why um, I chose this particular design for this technique. So the very first step is we are going to stamp on the base of our image. So I'm going to stamp the hippity hoppity, which makes way more sense with this card than it did with the last one that I stamped wrong. Um, one thing before I forget, the best images or papers to use for this are ones with small prints. And the great way to get small prints are six by six or six and a half by six and a half paper pads, because those are typically the papers that the companies have made in 12 by 12 size, but just scaled down for cards. So if you have a bunch of these paper pads and you have different papers that um, you haven't used or whatever, go check them out. You might have some prints in here that are perfect to use for this particular technique. This pad is one that I chose simply because A, it matched the colors from that first card that I, or the card that I showed you we were trying to match the colors to. And the other thing I love is some of these cards have glitter or papers have glitter on them. And some of them, where's one? Some of them have some clear embossing on them. So it gives it some more fun texture with not having to do the work to create that texture. Although we will be adding some more texture to the piece when we are um, done and I'll show you how to do that. So if you happen to have cards or papers that don't have glitter on them, that's okay. So I've got all my pieces of paper that I have chosen to use. I'm just gonna put that to the side. And we did need to ch the to stamp the bird on here, even though we're paper piecing it, because A, that tail, and then the little tufts of fur on his top, as well as his little legs. Those would be absolutely horrible to try to cut. So rather than even trying, if we stamp it onto our piece and then we paper piece on top of it, those parts of the image are already there, so we don't even need to worry about it. So. I happen to have the bird already pre-stamped, but that's okay, we're gonna stamp another one. And it's as simple as stamping on your piece of paper and then setting it aside to dry. So the bird is done. I'm gonna put her back. Now let's do the little bunny ears. I'm gonna do that with this paper here. I'm just gonna do the same papers that I chose for the sample. And once again, you wanna just stamp them and then set them aside to dry. This particular one, we're also going to do one of the eggs. Now this set doesn't have any eggs, but what it does have is a balloon that if you turn it upside down and take that little piece off, to me that looks like an egg. The only thing wrong with it, in my opinion, is the shadow is in the wrong spot, but I'm not gonna let that worry me. We're gonna go with it. So there we go, let's do the that egg and then I did two with this particular paper for the egg so have fun with it put the stripes in different spots don't need that one because we just did it and then we've got some flowers here and when you've got a bunch of different images you can choose exactly what you want to be seen on your piece there so once again have fun with it and then last one is this one here this is one of the ones that has some embossed areas on it so for an egg I think this is a really fun one to have so there we go we're gonna let our pieces dry for a few minutes just to make sure that ink is completely dry before we start cutting it out because I don't want to smudge it with my finger while we are cutting it out although like I said before this ink dries very quickly so it's probably dry but rather than chance it, we're going to give it a few minutes. I'll see you in the next video and we are going to start to cut things out and peace.